Hello from Bug Eye Guy. This week I have a really fun video. This is a car I just absolutely love. It's a stripped down little racer, black wall, black rim, stock rim, no hubcaps. Sort of has that simple hot rod, fun, stripped racer kind of feel. A whole lot of fun for not a lot of money. Simple Bug Eye, great fun, super quick. Watch this. And you can induce oversteer with this thing because it's just got it's got a hot cam and it's got new SU carburetors. It was an eBay car that we totally transformed for a client. And watch how much fun it is just on this little tricky loop right here. And I just find this to be such difficult driving this little transition. It's really hard to do it smoothly and well, but a whole lot of fun on all the bug eyes I've taken through here. And this one in particular just screams. And that's the turn signal switch, by the way. A lot of people ask me, what's that switch on the dash? Single indicator in between that little green flasher. That's for the turn signals. And there's just power on oversteer anytime you want with this thing. And that's our 1275 uh, twin tip muffler. Actually, it sounds great on 948s too. But the client sent this car back to us after we transformed a whole huge list. And it's just a great car as it is. But he wanted more. He wants a five-speed transmission and improved braking. So this video is actually about braking. I'm going 30 miles an hour as my target. And when I get to the second light post here, I'm going to nail the brakes and see how quickly I can stop. that I set up a tape measure was about 51 feet. This is disc brakes in the front by the way and drums in the back. Sort of the stock hot quote-unquote setup which is later sprite midget uh, single piston calipers in the front and here's another run. Oops a little too hot there locking up is generally not gonna do it and that was a, probably 55 feet so we had I think 51 on the first run. And so anyway, we're going to put in uh, twin piston front calipers and upgrade the front's bigger disc brakes. And then we're going to put in rear disc brakes and we will test the car each time and see if I can beat my best run. Of course, at 30 miles an hour, it's not a huge distance, but percentage wise, we should be able to make things much better. And there we go. You could see I actually stopped shy of the tape measure. That's about 47 feet. And we'll call that my best run. And of course, this is not exactly road and track technical accuracy, but close enough. We know we can do better than that, I think, with new brakes. These are 175 tires, by the way. And that's what we're working on this week at Bug Eye Guy.